Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at CBU. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to embed a media player in a Moodle content page or in a discussion forum post. Uh, this uh, video was inspired by some of my students from one of my uh, BED courses. We're currently working on creating some podcasts using Audacity. They're exporting these to MP3 format, and they want to embed the players in line in their discussion posts. They're going to get a nice player just like this, which uh, will upload the file for them and will actually play the media when you press on the button. So how do you do that? Well, I've got a discussion post ready to go here where I'm going to do a demonstration of this. And you'll note that when you're creating a content page or when you are editing a discussion post, there is already an attachment box right at the bottom. You want to ignore that for now. That attachment box has a, uh, a lower size limit. As you can see right here, maximum file size is 500 kilobytes. That's not going to cut it for, um, for a media file, which is probably going to be a few megabytes. And it's not going to embed the player for you. It's simply going to attach the file so that anyone reading the post can download it. What you want to do is type your text in your discussion post and put some placeholder text where you want to embed that media player. So in this case, I have a demonstration podcast using storyboards and e-learning. So I'm just going to use the audio file that I created for one of my videos on my YouTube channel. And I'll use that as a demonstration podcast. So you want to highlight the text that you have entered and click on this link button here, insert edit link on your toolbar. You could also use the media link buttons here, but this is going to work just as well. So I click on that and I select the option here to find a file, the file picker option, and then click on the option to upload a file if it's not already selected. Next, I will choose the file from my computer and I will go to find that file. I have it here under my Audacity demo. And here it is, my demo podcast using storyboards. As you can see, it's nine megabytes, nine and a half megabytes. So that 500 kilobyte limit is just not gonna cut it. So I click on this link, hit open, select my options here. Uh, I'm gonna put mine as Creative Commons, upload the file. And I will select to open it in a new window. That way, if someone does try to download it, it will download it in a new window for them. And you can see that it has now linked the text for me. It doesn't look like it's embedded. It has linked it. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to hit post to forum now. And you'll see that it has automatically embedded the player for me. And that's all there is to it, to uploading a media file and getting it to embed a player in Moodle.